I have a 3D mobile VTubing app that's an absolute game changer. Mobile VTubers, you need to watch this. This app allows you to import your own VRM model, add props, and has hand tracking. The app we'll be covering today is called Virtue. Just a quick reminder, before we jump into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help out the channel a lot. Okay, let's jump into Virtue. Any and all links used in this video will be in the description down below. The first thing we're gonna need to do is open up the App Store and search for Virtue. Once we find it, we need to click on the install button and install the application. For Android users, Virtue right now is currently in its alpha stage, so you will have to apply for it on their website. With the app open, it's gonna ask you for permissions. Make sure you allow all permissions. And once that's done, the app should open up. With the app now open, we see that it immediately starts tracking and we can see its very first default avatar. Great, now let's check out some basic settings. If we look at the top right hand side, we see that there's a calibration. That's basically to make your face look straight. And we see that there is a settings. When we click on the settings, we see that it's just basic standard stuff. If we click on advanced settings, we see that there isn't a whole bunch of advanced settings to change. They're pretty basic. Great, now that we went through the settings, let's check out some props. On the bottom left-hand side, we're gonna see that there is a crown. Select the crown and you're gonna see that we have a whole bunch of different options. We have 2D props and we have 3D props that we can choose from and put onto our avatar. We also have the ability to upload custom props. But what we're gonna do is click on the horns. As you can see, we can adjust the size and we can adjust the location of the said prop. Now we can click on back and see that it is applied to our actual avatar. Great, now that we got the props covered, let's check out some effects. So if we press on the effects button on the bottom right hand side, we see that we got options for green screen, for blue screen and for yellow screen. We also have transparent on the bottom left hand side and it does have mosaic backgrounds that we can put our avatars in to simulate a 3D environment. Once the 3D environment is loaded, as you can see, we move the camera around and our avatar moves in the 3D environment as well, which is absolutely amazing. Now, if we click on the look button, we can see we have different facial expressions that we can play with with our particular avatars. We also have poses, so we can put our avatar into pose positions, and we have animations. So animations, if we click on one, we will see that our avatar does an animation. It'll play throughout the entire animation, and once the animation is done, the avatar will go back into its default pose. The application also supports uploading custom backgrounds so you could add your own images behind you or you could add your own mosaic backgrounds to simulate a 3D environment. All right, let's go check out the 3D avatars that the application comes with and let's see how we can upload our own VRM 3D model. Okay, on the bottom right hand side, we're gonna see an avatar button and we are going to select it. The first avatars that we see are the avatars that come with the application itself. The other avatars that we're seeing as we scroll are actually from Vroid Hub. When we click on the Vroid Hub button, we will see that we will be prompted with a login. So make sure you have a Vroid account and it will actually log you in and give you access to the extra avatars. Let's look at the import now. As you see here, I have my avatar already downloaded. You might have to browse your phone if you downloaded the avatar directly to your phone from a place like Fiverr. It might not show up in the recent area, but I'm just gonna click on mine and pretty quickly you're gonna see, here I am right in front of your eyes. And the tracking is absolutely amazing. Right off the bat, you can see my hands are working and believe it or not, if you have blend shapes, on your avatar, the blend shapes will actually work as well if you have an iPhone 10 or above. Okay, really quickly, let's check out the quality of the hand tracking. The hand tracking itself is actually pretty decent, though it is a little bit janky at times, 
Again, this program is in alpha. I do expect this to improve over time, but all in all, the hand tracking is pretty good. So now that we've gone through all the settings, uploaded our avatar, let's talk about on how we are going to stream this on Twitch or YouTube. We're going to open up the App Store, we're going to type in Streamlabs, and we are going to download and install it. Once Streamlabs is open, we're going to tell it we want to game and not live stream with our camera. We're going to select all the on-screen prompts, and we're going to click Allow on all of them. We are going to select Settings on the top left-hand side, and we're going to figure out where we're going to stream to. I got YouTube already inputted. You can connect your Twitch or whatever accounts you want to select. Follow the on-screen prompts. Right now, we're going to do the basic setup. It's going to tell us broadcast on iOS. Let's follow all the on-screen prompts. iOS, it's a little bit of a pain, but once it's set up, it's good. You set it and forget it. Once you're done doing the setup, you can click on where to broadcast to again. Click on save. We are going to change the access from public to private. You can have a public if you wish. We're going to click on save and we are going to go live. Click again, the on-screen prompt, got it. Click on go live. And we're gonna change it from photos to stream labs. Make sure you enable do not disturb on your phone or all your text messages and notifications that pop on the screen will also show on the live stream as well. But just like that, you are now a 3D VTuber using mobile. This application is absolutely amazing. I cannot recommend it enough for 3D VTubers that can only stream on mobile. You should absolutely use this. There is no reason not to. Again, I'm your VTuber Senpai. I upload here every Wednesday. I also stream here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So come on by, say hi. Let's talk about anime, gaming, VTubing, whatever. And well, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Special thank you goes out to our first Patreon, Blue underscore Devil. Thank you so much for your support.